You like it there? Yes, I do. I grew up with all the owners and um, like big family, and I um, I've been there. Uh, it'll be six years in January. Oh, nice. That's uh, that's pretty pretty steady. Is it as much fun as whenever you and I work together? Nothing's that fun, <laughs> but we 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 have our love. We're all like we work together as, as we're all family. We eat together. We everybody takes turns buying lunch, cooking lunch, bringing it in. And when there's a problem, we cry on each other's shoulders. And if somebody's down, we boot them back up. Did you ever you ever buy anything to eat that you couldn't quite cut? <laughs> Anything ever? Oh, heard? the knives in our kitchen are never sharp. <laughs> really? Really. Uh, what, what's the, what, what the, uh, the butchers, the butchers' kids starves, the shoemakers' kids, where's the samples? What's the sample? plumber's <laughs> wife's, the plumber's faucet's leaking. No, oh, man. Okay, uh, Maya, what do you do? What do you do? What do I do? What don't I do? Okay. No, I, um, I work in Lawrenceville with small businesses along Butler Street. And run a Main Streets program, which means we promote um, all of Lawrenceville, but also business resources for any new business moving in. Excellent. So, like a uh, like a, like a greeting card company, like if they bought a, a storefront there. <laughs> yeah, except good. Oh, except, oh snap! Oh. Snap! This, this this just went Springer style. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, I didn't want to go there, Dave, but... But, but yeah, I twisted your arm. You did. All, all right, Sandra Beasley, you're a writer. Where do, who do you write for now? Oh, lordy. Um, I write for myself. I left a totally stable, good job at a magazine because it was keeping me from writing, and I got the opportunity to write something, uh, a book, that I had promised them I would do it in a year, and I knew I could only do it in a year if I quit my job to do it, so I did. So I've got, um, I've been touring, I write poetry, and I write nonfiction. I've got a memoir coming out, and uh, I am just hooking it and by crooking it, and uh, traveling from place to place, and trying desperately to figure out what I'm gonna do when my Cobra Health Insurance runs out next month, because the book that I got this opportunity to write is on food allergies. And so I had to quit my job in order to be able to write it, but once I quit my job, I discovered that I was not insurable because of the food allergies that let me quit my job that provided my health insurance. It makes it hard on allergies. <laughs> yeah, sneak it. You should try to sell it at Wildcard in Lawrenceville on Butler Street. <laughs> oh. Now I know. <laughs> well, you must be desperate if you're here. I just have a crush on you. Oh. Come on now. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. Um, Who does? <laughs> that I've discovered in the world of the arts is that if people know that you are available to do things, opportunities do present themselves. And they might not be as lucrative as the job you have, but it's a way to kind of hop from lily pad to lily pad if you have to. And Pittsburgh happens to be one of my favorite lily pads. So here I am for a weekend. Thanks very much. It's, 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 a, pretty, it's a pretty hospitable lily pad. Right down. <laughs> yep. So, to the carrier, Fortunato is smart. How did you get, when did you start this business? Um, I'm just getting it off the ground, uh, actually this month. We, got, we just got funded through Kickstarter. It's an online fundraising tool that allows all of your friends to give little pieces of money, and then it, in my case, it, it allots to $5,000, which is really exciting. Yeah, it's pretty great. Can, anybody, anybody, else, anybody here uh, ever use Kickstarter? Uh, benefit from that? Look into it. It's a, it's a, how would you describe it? It's, a, it's a, sort of a, a unique formula for, uh, for fundraising. Yeah, they fund mainly arts-based projects. Um, a lot of like bands or movies um, get off the ground through, um, through the fundraising, this, this Kickstarter site. Um, 
you set a goal, and it could be a goal from you know 100 bucks to however much you want it to be. And if you if you don't reach your goal, then you don't get anything. But if you reach your goal or go beyond it, then you get to cash in. And yeah, and cash in, you are. All right. So you what what interests me? Yes. <laughs> What interests me about uh, <laughs> yeah. what what interests me about um, <laughs> about about Fortunato's smile and uh, your model is that uh, you you really part of the structure is you want to employ people and you have a specific group of people that you want to employ. Yeah, and and I think like you were saying, you know, you want to, you want you only want to support quality things. I think what happens a lot in the disability population is you get like the, the pity purchase, like. Oh, look what those people did. And I'm really interested in, in not really doing that and making it this product that's of value and, and really has an artistic value beyond helping people get jobs that wouldn't otherwise be able to get jobs. Okay, yeah, well, I want to so. see, uh, did you you have some cards with you? I did, they're, yeah, they're, 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 elsewhere. Over, they're over there. Are they in that, yeah. that big giant bag? <laughs> yeah, it's a All red right. box. They're, oh, they're it's the red box. box. So I'm going to pass them out. <laughs> That guy with the bandana is going to pass them out. <laughs> Let's shake it out. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. ooh it's a box of things. Um, you don't want to pass them out? Bandana guy? <laughs> this, this is our like recent uh, product line. Here, here you go. Oh, um, um, make sure our camera guy sees these. Yeah, so this is a... Uh, Folks with disabilities painted the, the watercolors and we printed over it and then they um, cut pieces out and pasted it on cards. So. These are these are pretty these are pretty nice. These are yeah. very attractive. Yeah. And what about setting up relationships? Could you say with the business down on uh, what do they call wildcard? Yeah, of course, wildcard would absolutely support something like this. Um, would they would they be dicks to her? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I didn't want to talk about that day. <laughs> yeah, and I told him that if I came up here, I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> but that wild card would support this kind of card. You are the saucy wild card guest. Yeah, she is. Yes, the wild card in the corner. <laughs> All right, cool stuff. You know what? Um, I also want to. Uh, you, you, you have your, your book with you. I think uh, the best way, sort of like us, what you were saying about opportunities for artists and uh, people who sort of uh, do these cultural, culture, culture, art-driven activities and uh, career. You, a lot of times, it's contract to contract, job to job, job to job. Um, I think the best way to make that happen is to is to just just do it. I mean. Uh, We've talked about it on the show a bunch of times. I mean, this is, you know, the unemployment show. We tried to get funding, and they were like, no, this is that guy with the gloves. No. no. Uh, so we didn't, get any, we didn't get any funding for it, but it's like, fuck it. We're still going to have this show in my house, and all these people are going to show up and drink beer and eat cookies and shit. So thanks a lot. Uh, so in that spirit, she's going to read the poem. You guys like clones? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Hey, give me the back. You like, you like clones? All right, give me a big smile. Uh, I need to see All righty. Um, don't worry, it's a short poem. And it's dedicated to anybody in the arts in particular. Is who, this part uh, of the poem? No, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to make you go back behind that magic castle door until we let you come back out again. No, no, no. Do you want to do I can't that? imagine what you would do in that space. Let's all, all right, let's During do this. Poem. How about this? What if we have you go in now, and when you uh, when you come out, then she starts the poem? Oh. Does that work? Will that work? Yeah. It'll be like I'm serenading her. Hey, Ben, can you give her a, can you give her a little hey? Hold on one second, Mike. Here we go. Well done, Van. Well done, Maya. And now I'm ready for a poem. <laughs> 